Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie, and if you're coming back and have watched previous videos, then welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, hopefully a quick one, because no one likes anybody rambling during an unboxing. You just want to see the plans and exit the video. So, the very first plant that I got here is a uh, Hoya. Duh! <laughs> and this right here is Hoya Australis elbow and if it stops moving around and there you go um, so most people are very familiar with Hoya Australis Lisa and Hoya Australis Lisa is very similar to Hoya Crimson Princess where the variegation is on the inside it's lighter in color and just speckles of green here and there um, same it goes with Australis Lisa and um, Hoya Carnosa Princess are similar, whereas the Hoya Australis um, elbow is similar to Hoya Crimson Queen because of the variegation is on the outside of the leaves, just like that. And then the green is on the inside. Very excited about this cutie. This pot is cute too, um, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping it. Well, I'll keep it, but I'm just not going to keep my plant in there. Because it is made out of wood, I think it's just going to be very hard for me to be able to tell whether it needs water or not. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna, going to repot it either tonight or even tomorrow, we'll see. But it is, is super duper cute, very excited about that one. I have a huge Australis uh, Lisa and I love it, it's a beautiful Hoya. Um, so I figured I needed that one. This next up is a very special one. It is from Lighthouse Hoyas, um, Scott. He's a terrific guy. Um, and he's located out in Florida. I mean, all the cool people are located in Florida because they collect all the cool Hoyas. Um, but it's so sweet. I did not actually open the actual box. Well, I did, but I didn't look inside yet. Um, but he wrote a uh, cute thank you notes. And yeah, and then his card, of course. So we got that. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Hoyas. So it's packaged with some shredded paper and some cotton, like that fluffy cotton that you put in like a stuffed bear or something like that. Um, and the way you could get actually Hoyas from him is he sells on eBay and so if you go on Lighthouse Hoyas on Instagram you could go ahead and check him out on eBay and also um, a couple times a month whenever he gets a chance or when his Hoyas are ready he also sells on his Instagram and so he'll post five to eight Hoyas at a time and you message him which one you want and if you're the first one then you get that Hoya. Anyways, um, so yeah, definitely you guys should check him out. All right, I think I'm gonna put this stuff inside this box. <laughs> it's a good thing that today is cleaning day because I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do. All right. <gasps> Ooh. All right, this very first one right here, God, I look so dark when I pick something up, the light like changes and I look dark. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy down and then show you this little guppy right here. This is Hoya Bordeni. Bordeni, Bordeni I. Look how pretty. Oh, do you guys see those veins? So pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Hoya elagorium, like how the leaves are elongated and then the veins remind me of like a Hoya fichii. Super duper cute. Leaves are really, really thick and his packaging is on point. Completely covered like so. And then let's get the next one. All right, so for the next one, we have Hoya vetaliana. Vitaliana, something like that. <laughs> super, super pretty. As you can see, the borders around it are dark compared to the actual green leaf. It has a new growth and super pretty. I'm very excited about this guy. Look at it. Um, so all of these plants actually that I have 
purchased today or have purchased within the past two months are all my like wish list plants. So I'm trying to really stick to what I, I said this video is going to be short. I don't think it's going to be short, <laughs> but I am um, trying to stick to like a list of Hoyas I really want. When I first started collecting Hoyas, I just wanted this one and that one and that one because it was a Hoya, right? And so I kind of went crazy and just got whatever was called a Hoya. And then after some time, I was like, wait, I don't like this one, I don't like this one, and I don't like this one because I don't like the texture, I don't like the uh, growth pattern, and so I just wasn't that big of a fan. And now I just like know what I want, so I only go for those Hoyas. And then that way I just never regret my purchases. This one is the very last one in the box, and this right here is Hoya Globulosa. I absolutely love this Hoya. Do you guys know why? Could you guess? Because the leaves are velvety, like fuzzy. And I'm not a person that likes to play with my leaves or touch my leaves <laughs> on my plants, but I do love the fuzzy leaves. So Hoya Thomsonia is like my number one Hoya. If I ever have a chance to buy a Hoya Thomsonia, I'm going to get it every single time. Same goes for Hoya Globulosa. Absolutely love this Hoya. It's just fuzzy. It's just really nice. When I originally got my very first Hoya Globulosa from Coco Ranch, it wasn't in the best shape. I got it for a good price, um, but at that time, um, Susan did tell me that it is not in the best shape, so if you want it, I could sell it to you, yada yada. So anyways, I got it, it didn't live. <laughs> and so I'm very excited to have this guy right here. Super duper pretty. And I think that is it. Very excited about that. Now it's time to clean up this mess. I have a little bit of soil here and there and some shredded paper. Did you guys just hear my knee crack? Um, but that is the unboxing for today. I'm very excited about all my Hoyas. They're absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I can't even pick one. If I wanted to just pick like one favorite out of these four, it would be so hard. And these leaves are thick. Whoa, like that's thick, cardboard thick. Very exciting. I'm also the type of person that I typically um, repot my plants the moment I get them or within the next day or two. Um, I don't know, I just like using my own mixture but I also like using like my own pots right away and then just so everything fits on my shelves correctly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I'm very excited and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's gonna be sooner than later and you guys won't have another like three to four week breaks without seeing me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Perhaps if we could get to 100 likes on this very video, I'm going to go ahead and do 30 days of consecutive videos for the month of September. But if this video right here gets 100 likes, could we do it? I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.